What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RaspberryTech.com and today I'm gonna boot up my Raspberry Pi for the first time. Now, if you guys didn't watch my last video, I unboxed the Raspberry Pi B Plus. If you don't know what a Raspberry Pi B Plus is, it's a basically a computer the size of a credit card. It's a computer all in one chip. It has memory, it has RAM, it has input, output, it has USB ports, it has a HDMI port to connect to a monitor. It's a computer all in one little chip. Now, the Raspberry Pi is only $35. It's very cheap and I think it's very awesome. Now, if you guys wanna pick up one of those Raspberry Pis for yourself, I'm gonna leave a link to all the parts I use today in this description, it's an Amazon link. Now, the first thing you're gonna need is a Raspberry Pi B Plus or a Raspberry Pi. This is the B Plus model. Again, it's only $35. Now, this is a Raspberry Pi B Plus model. This is their newer model. Again, it's only $35. This is the size of a credit card. It has all the components of a computer. It has an internet port, it has four USB ports, it's got GPIO ports, it's got a micro SD port, it's got a HDMI port so you can connect this to your monitor or your TV and you can connect a wireless mouse or keyboard or a wired mouse or keyboard. You're also going to need a micro SD card. This is a scan disk 16 gigabyte micro SD card that I got. I only paid $20 for this one and this one comes with the adapter. I recommend you get the adapter. Now you're going to need the adapter because you're going to need to plug in the micro SD card into the adapter. You're going to need to connect this to your computer. Then we're going to need to transfer some files. But first we're going to need to format the card while it's in the computer. Then we're going to transfer those files over. Now you also need the power cord. This is a micro USB power cord with the power brick. This is the same cord you would use with your cell phone that supports micro USB. If you guys have one laying around, you can use it. Otherwise, I only paid $5 for this one. I'm gonna leave a link in my description. I got this one from Amazon. I also recommend you get a USB flash drive. Now it's not needed, but you can connect this to the Pi. Pi has four USB 2.0 ports. You connect this and save all your files onto the USB flash drive. Again, it's not needed, but I recommend you get one. This is a 16 gigabyte scan disk. I only paid $20 for this. They're very cheap. And scan disk, I think is the best company out there. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is format our micro SD card. Connect your micro SD card to this adapter here. Connect it to your computer. I'll try All right, guys, so now we gotta take our micro SD card and connect it to the adapter. Then connect the adapter to the computer. Once we do that, it's gonna give us a drive letter. We have to figure out what that drive letter is so we can use it later on. But if you're using Windows, you can use File Explorer. It'll show you all the files, folders, and drives. Locate your SD uh, drive, and it should tell you right next to it what drive letter it is. Mine's called SDHC because I have a scan disk, and it gave me a drive letter of E. Yours could be completely different, so figure out what your drive letter is. Mine's is E. So close that, then open up a web browser. I'm gonna use Chrome, then open up Google, in Google, we're gonna type in something called SD Formatter. And it's SD Formatter 4.0, it should be the first link you see. Click on that link, scroll all the way down. Then depending on your operating system, whether if you have a Windows or a Mac, if you have Windows, you're gonna to wanna to download this link here, download SD Formatter for Windows. If you have a Mac, use this link here, download SD Formatter for a Mac. I'm using Windows, so I'm gonna download this first link here. Then scroll down, click on I accept. Then it should start the download. It's a six megabyte download, so it should take about a minute or so. Once it's finished downloading, you're gonna wanna extract it to a directory. I'm gonna extract mine to the desktop, but I already extracted mine, so I'm not gonna do it again. This is the file you're gonna extract after you finish downloading it. Double click this file here, then let it run. Then follow the instructions. Now, I already installed mine. I'm not gonna install it again, just follow the instruction. And once you've finished installing this here, you're gonna see this icon on your desktop. It's called SD Formatter. If you don't see this icon, you can go to uh, All Programs and it should be SD Formatter in All Programs. Double click that icon, click on Yes if it asks you. Now, by default, it should select your drive letter for your SD card. If it doesn't select yours, make sure you select it. Now, it's very important you select the right one. If you select the wrong one, you can delete something completely different. Now, mine's is selected, it's E and my SD card is 14.8 gigabytes long. Now we're gonna click on format. Then you're gonna click on okay. Then click on okay again. Then it should format. Now it's finished formatting. Then we're gonna click on okay again. Now you successfully formatted your SD card. Click exit here. Now the next thing we're gonna need to do is open up our browser again. Then in the address bar, we're gonna type in www.raspberrypi.org. Hit enter. This is the Raspberry Pi website, it's pretty cool. 
It'll tell you everything you need to know about the Raspberry Pi. It has an awesome community and forums and has a bunch of stuff to help you out. Now we're gonna navigate to the downloads tab here because we wanna download something called Noobs. Now Noobs is a program that lets you install all the other programs basically. It's like the main program. And uh, we're gonna wanna download Noobs here and click on this Noobs download zip link here. Click on it and it should start the download. And it's a pretty big download. It's a 700 megabyte download. So it might take a while depending on your internet speed. But I'm gonna cancel mine because I already downloaded mine. So once your file is finished downloading, right, you're going to get this file here and it's a zip file. And you're gonna to wanna to double click the zip file and extract it to your freshly formatted SD card. Find your SD card here. Mine's called SDHC and it's drive E. Yours again could be something different. Double click the SD card, then select OK. Then it's gonna start extracting all the files to the SD card. Give it about a minute or so to let everything extract. Guys, once it's finished extracting, you're pretty much done with this step. Guys, okay, so now we successfully finished this part. Now our SD card is ready to connect to the Raspberry Pi. So now I'm gonna transition to- All right guys, now it's time to boot up our Raspberry Pi for the first time. Now, we're gonna wanna take our micro SD card here that we just formatted and we installed all the necessary files. We wanna put it in our Raspberry Pi. The bottom is a slot for our micro SD cable here. So it's, so just slide it in. Next, we wanna connect our HDMI cable. I have it connected to this monitor here. Now I'm gonna connect the other end to the Raspberry Pi. I need a keyboard and mouse. I have a wireless mouse and keyboard combo. And it has this wireless sensor, so I'm just gonna connect this to the USB ports here. It's one of the ports. Now the final thing left to do is connect the power. We wanna connect the power to the micro USB cable to our Raspberry Pi. Once we connect the power to the Raspberry Pi, it should boot up, there is no power button. All right, now Noobs has loaded. Now we're gonna to wanna to install Raspbian. Raspbian is a flavor of Linux. It's more like Debian, it's basically built off of Debian. If you guys know Debian, you'll pretty much get this pretty quickly. All right, now that we have Raspbian highlighted, we wanna check off Raspbian here, make sure you check it off. Then we're gonna click on install up here. Click on install, click yes, then it's going to install. You're gonna to need to give it some time to install. It could be like 20 minutes to an hour. So we give it some time. It's installing an entire operating system basically. All right, now it's successfully installed. Now we're gonna to wanna to click on okay here. Now it should boot up for the first time. All right, so now it's just running through the command lines. This is normal for a Linux distro to do. It should take about another minute or so for this to fully load. All right, now we're at the Raspberry Pi software configuration tools. We're gonna to wanna to hit tab, then tab again till it gets to finish. Hit enter. All right, now it's loading the command prompt on the bottom. Now we're gonna type in start X to start up the user GUI. So type in start, then type in X. And this should start the graphical user interface. All right guys, Raspbian is finally loaded. So if you guys wanna test it out for yourself, you can test it out. Raspbian is a full operating system. It's a flavor of Linux and you could do things like surf the web, install apps, you can do shell scripting, you can do programming, anything you want. The sky is the limit. Now, I'm gonna go more into detail about the different uh, programs and different icons in this Raspbian version here, but that's pretty much it for this part. So, transition. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys wanna follow along with this video, I'm gonna leave a link to all those products I had in this video in my description, it's an Amazon link. And all right, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RasmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.